Hi there. My name is Erica Curtis, and I am a recent graduate of SUNY Brockport 2020. Eagle Talk is a Brockport program sharing opportunities for getting involved and getting excited for your own Brockport journey by hearing from students and alumni. Today's Eagle Talk is focused on student wellness and athletics. Between intramurals, club sports, Brockport athletics, there are a multitude of ways to get involved with different sports and different sport life on campus. And all campus health activities are free for student spectators, which is over my part. Today, we have a current student and an alumni who are excited to share their experiences. So I will let them introduce themselves. Stevie. Hi, I'm Stevie Rudak, and I'm a current student at the College of Brockport. Um, I'm studying business administration, and I have a minor in psychology. I graduate in 2021. I'm the current president of the Brockport dance team for my second year in a row, and I'm a member of the club sports executive committee, and I also work for the student union activities as an event manager. And Seth? Hi, everyone. My name is Seth Johnston. Uh, I graduated with my bachelor's degree from Brockport in 2008 and then graduated again with my master's degree in 2014. Um, uh, my current title at the college, I work there now as assistant director of transfer credit services, which is in undergraduate admissions. Perfect. So let's just get right into things. Um, Stevie, if you could discuss your involvement outside of the classroom and how it ex or, um, <laughs> affected you as a person? Um, so coming to Brockport, I knew I wanted to continue doing dance and I knew I didn't want to major in dance, but I still wanted to continue doing it. So I joined the Brockport dance team, not knowing that two years later I'd be the president of it, but I did become the president of Brockport dance team. And this is, as I said, now my second year being president and captain of it. I think like really getting myself involved just showed me that I can make new connections. I can be a part of the campus instead of just going to classes and then just going back to my room. Like I actually wanted to do something that I love to do. So I think that getting involved with campus athletics is so helpful for you to continue doing what you love to do and even continuing something if you haven't even tried it before or you've had an interest in it for so long. So like joining the dance team has really helped me just discover myself even more. Um, so it's just the self-discovery aspect. Like as you grow older, you find more things about yourself that you didn't know you could do. So me being captain just pushed me to, to my leadership abilities and my capabilities. Perfect. Seth, um, why did you choose Brockport and why was it a good choice for you? Yeah, so I, I chose Brockport. I actually um, started my college experience at, um, at Nazareth College. I, I left Nazareth and then I transferred to MCC. Uh, when I was at MCC, I was involved in their physical education program. And then of course, after completing that program, I wanted to move on and get my bachelor's degree. Uh, when I started to look at colleges, especially that were nearby, you know, the College of Brockport had an outstanding physical education program. It still does. Um, and so for me, it was a very easy, obvious choice. Um, you know, the strength of that program, I, I knew that what I was going to learn in that program was going to help me get a career, hopefully pretty much immediately after college, which is and ended up what happened, not in physical education, but the, the program prepared me for, you know, anything I was going to do afterwards. It gave me the confidence. Um, you know, I was put in touch with a lot of great people, faculty, other students, alumni, et cetera, while I was involved in the program. Um, so that was the main reason why I chose Brockport. Awesome. Stevie, would you describe a unique experience while you were up at Brockport? So one of my unique experiences being on the e-board of a club sport is joining the club executive, club sports executive committee. And so I'm on that committee with um, the, uh, with Dylan Hill, who runs like the intramurals and club sports teams, um, as well as the GAs for the club sports teams. Um, and we just make a lot of decisions that affect all the teams overall, but we have like their best interest in mind. So I think Brockport has helped me to find like really 
great leadership experiences. So there's one unique experience is finding really good leadership experiences. Um, another thing is dancing with the athletes. So all um, sports teams come together and they can um, perform for um, a charitable cause. Like they all choose a, char a charitable cause to um, donate money to. And it's like a huge event in the spring. We didn't get to do it because of COVID, but we were practicing with um, men's soccer and women's gymnastics. So um, that was really fun and it was fun to put together, even though we didn't get to do it. But in the past we have before and it's just really funny because everyone's dancing and they had never danced before or maybe they had like a little bit of experience, but um, everybody's coming together. And so I love that event. That is always one of my favorite to watch. It's so funny. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, last but not least, Seth, do you have any advice for incoming or incoming students? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, um, Stevie touched on it a little bit already. I think the, the biggest piece of advice I could give the students is to become involved and become involved as, as soon as possible. Um, it's sometimes can be a hard thing to do in the beginning. It's kind of a scary thing to do, you know, as a young person going to a new place around a lot of new people don't quite know what to expect. But um, I think, you know, any new person, new student that comes to Brockport is going to find that everybody there is, is very supportive, um, cares about the student's success. Um, you know, so once you kind of get warmed up a little bit, so to speak, you know, really, really try to search out for opportunities for to, to become involved. The more you become, you know, involved in campus, um, the more opportunities I think are gonna you're gonna be presented with, and the more successful you're gonna be. Um, real quick too, before uh, I know we, we kind of wrap up, I just wanted to also say that um, in terms of my involvement on campus, the way I kind of became involved on campus um, while I was at Brockport as a student, I actually uh, played on the men's basketball team there, and then after uh, my my playing days. I started to coach, um, so and I still continue to coach for the men's basketball team today. It's been about it's 12 years, I think, uh, that I've been involved um, with that. Um, so I'm very um, Stevie. I've seen the the dancing with the athletes. It's it's an amazing experience. I love to see our guys get out there and show their dance moves and uh, embarrass themselves a little bit. I know uh, we've had some coaches get out there as well and do the same thing. So it's it's a real fun event. Um, so, you know, there's so many different ways to, to get involved. There's so many different opportunities. Take advantage of it. Um, you know, reach out to people if you have questions. Um, you know, you, you can't, you, like the saying goes, you can't ask a dumb question. Ask questions and, and reach out to people and connect with as many people as you can. Yeah, that's amazing advice. Thank you so much for being with me today. And though it is all the time we have for today, but thank you again, both of you, so much for joining me on today's talk. And to all incoming students, welcome to Brockport. We hope you have the best next few years and that they will be amazing for you.